Good morning. It is Boxing Day for all my Canadian and UK friends. Um, for everybody else, all the US people, which are the majority of you, it is the day after Christmas. It's the 26th of December and um, we don't have a really good it's the no pants day because they don't fit anymore or something day. I don't know. You tell me. What what, what do you call the day after Christmas? Um, I call it, let's just tear the house apart and do some shit day, I guess. I don't know. That's not a tradition, but maybe it is from here going forward. Anyway, um, I hope you all had a, a great Christmas. If those of you who celebrate or happy Hanukkah and all that jazz, um, I had a nice quiet Christmas just just right just a just right Christmas which is my favorite kind of Christmas I guess um, I went down to the neighbors for Christmas dinner with their family and um, wonderful meal wonderful fellowship lots of fun I got like I did get a gift I got to open a gift which was nice because I didn't think I'd get to open a gift on Christmas Day so that was nice and uh, we had fun and then I came home I was home before dark and I snuggled up on the couch here and with my cats and had a good time. So, I went to bed kind of early. Again, good day, good day. My unofficial, official Christmas celebration, more of my celebration, is going to be in the middle of January when my daughters come here to visit. Uh, it's just easier and less expensive to travel in January for them, for their jobs than it is for them to come for the holidays and all the you know other people obligations that they have for the holidays so it's just easier and i look for it gives me something to look forward to in january but this is my sitting room my blue room my lounge all the things that i call it and um i got a wild hair that i wanted to change it up a little bit this is where i spend 90% of my time when I'm not asleep. And sometimes I'm even asleep in here because I fell asleep on the couch, don't we all? Uh, I'm not gonna change it up huge, but I got a new to me rug from a friend here in Selma uh, earlier this winter, late fall. And it's very pretty and it's big, it's really big. And I'm not sure, it would go very pretty in the front bedroom, the pink bedroom, but I, currently I'm using that also as a guest room slash my sewing room and I have a sewing machine table and all this stuff in there and so maybe when that hap when that just becomes a guest room again just becomes my extra pretty bedroom I will put it in there maybe because I think it would be pretty in there but for the time being I think I want it in here because it is the background is yellow so I think it will brighten this room up but I've done some measuring and with the way this room is, and you can't see it from the camera angle, um, I, I don't want the rug to go over the hearth. It could, it could, because I don't burn a fire in my fireplace. So technically the rug could cover the hearth, but my hearth is actually kind of pretty. It's got pretty tile on it. But I think from the edge of the hearth to this back wall is just the width of that rug, just. And then it's much longer and it's going to come into this walkway. So I had this room has this door in the, the kitchen that's behind me. And then straight across from it is the door into the front parlor. And I am not 100% sure that that was always the door to the kitchen, that they lined up like that. I feel like, I don't know. There's a lot of archeology span to happen to figure out what that kitchen used to look like and I haven't been able to, to find a lot of information. Kitchen is a story for another day. So for today, this, I mean, obviously had been the dining room originally, was the, it was the original intention of this room. And I have a dining room table in here. I, I did just take the leaf. It's one of those tables that you pull out and the leaf actually stores inside, which is kind of cool. And I bought this table this last year from the flea market um, because it's round and small and has a small footprint for this room rather than the longer rectangular farm table that I have that was here. So what I would think, what I'm thinking of doing is 
gonna rearrange this room and maybe bring another piece of furniture in and move the rugs. I think the blue rug that's under my feet, you can catch a tiny corner of it there, that I bought for this room because it fit. Um, and it's, it's a nice looking rug, it's an okay rug. I think I'm gonna put that over here under the window in this section, I think. And then I'm gonna bring the yellow rug in and put it down here in the main part of the room. But I'm gonna do a little measuring before I do make that 100% decision. I'm not 100% sure of the size of that yellow rug because it, it was rolled up when I bought it. I know the width because I can measure that, but how long it is when, it's, when I unroll it, I don't know. But I think it's, I think it's too long to fit from wall to wall over here because there's a heat vent behind this door. And either this door is usually closed to keep the heat in this room or it's opened all the way. I just got some crap toys out from behind it so it's part, the heat vent is behind the door right now. So I don't, obviously don't want the um, rug to cover the heat vent. But what I need to do is, is empty the rest of this room for the most part of any lightweight small stuff that I can easily move around like the coffee table, this yellow chair, the fen table and lamp behind me so that I have less stuff to deal with while I'm farting around. And I might bring another sofa into this room. I have this little round table, which I keep, in my in main intention is to someday paint it. And I haven't decided if I was gonna paint it like a buttery yellow or an off-white or a navy blue or black or, or what. So it's just been what it is. And usually there's a tablecloth on it. Now, my friend whose house we had Christmas dinner at last year, or last, last, yesterday, not last year, yesterday, she has a round table with a to-the-floor tablecloth on it. So, you, I don't know what the table underneath looks like, but it's completely covered. And that's a nice, elegant look. And if I had more fabric, or maybe I'll order more of these toile draperies and make something for it. I don't know. But uh, I like that look, but that's not happening today. But what she has is she has a little love seat behind it. The three people sat on, so it wasn't that small of a love seat, but a love seat behind it, and then just armchairs all the way around it. And I've gone down and had cocktails with her and tea with her in the past, and it's just nice to sit there because you have a table. She can put out hors d'oeuvres and, you know, food on the table, pretty little, you know, some candles, whatever, and you can set your drink on the table when you're visiting. But everybody's comfortable. You're not sitting at hard, uncomfortable dining room ta chairs, you're not balancing your food plate on your lap with your cocktail or your wine glass and trying to find a, a free spot on an end table that without a coaster. Like all the things that, I don't maybe maybe I, down here in, the, in Selma, we live a little differently where we have people over to our houses for wine and cocktails and tea and things like that. But it's just often enough. I hardly ever sit at the table here to eat my meals, even though there's TV right there. I mean, I sit in the same room. I just end up sitting on the couch because it's more comfortable. So I'm thinking, now I don't have armchairs at this point, but I'm going to get some. I mean, I have the yellow chair, which kind of sits in the middle of the room in the way anyway. And I do have a chair in my bedroom, but it's one kind of nasty looking and I need a new slip cover for it. And two... Kind of like having the chair in the corner of the bedroom. It's nice to have a chair in your bedroom. If for nothing else, just to throw your bathrobe on, you know, whatever. Or those clothes that you wore once, and then you're like, well, I don't want to hang them back up because they're still, I did wear them, but they're not dirty enough to launder again, so I'm just going to drape them over this chair until the next time I need to wear them. Those clothes, we all have those clothes, right? I mean, that's what the rest of y'all have, like, Pelotons for, right? It's to hang your worn ones clothes on. Anyway, I want chairs chairs around this table I think and then maybe a tablecloth and a rug under it because this is probably the worst condition of all the floors in this house so I mean it's definitely the most trafficked area obviously at some point somebody had a chair or something that got scraped in and out right here and took all the finish off the floor 
over here. I think this is like Bondo or wood filler or something. Um, I'm not sure what, what that situation is. And I don't know. There's a lot of dents in I mean, I like the character of the beat up old wood floor, but it does need, it needs a little love. And so at some point I am going to figure out what finish is already on the floor and if I can update it. But yeah, see over here going into the kitchen is really beat up. So I think if I put a rug to cover it up, at least it will keep it from being beat up anymore. And because to hang with me next month, no, actually, yeah, well, next month, but in a couple weeks, having an, some more comfy seating in here might be nice. Having a second couch in here and what have you. So I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to drag that couch all the way in here. I don't want it in that back room anymore. I have plans for that back room, but that's another video. And now that I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to take you along and you're going to watch me do whatever I end up doing. And I have a feeling if I drag that couch in here that, I mean, I have, I've had that couch in here before. And then I moved it when I finished that room because I felt like that room needed a place to sit. But I rarely sit in there. I mean, sometimes I sit in there. It is more of a summer room than it is a winter room because it's got the tile floor and it looks out on the backyard. But I haven't, I just haven't finished that room. And um, it's just not, I don't know. It does, it's not, it's not right. So, and I want to make, Turn, I want to get storage in that room. I want to build some shelves. But that, again, is another video for another day. So I'm going to put you back up in the claw. And when I say the claw, I got this thing, friend. It it, it clamps on. This thing, like, is, you know, like, flexible. And then your phone goes in there. So you can put the thing anywhere that you can clamp it on. And it doesn't fall. The phone doesn't. And uh, it's kind of cool. So... I was moving the claw earlier because it was over on behind the table. And I was like, oh, I'll put that up on the mantle and then I can uh, film maybe rather than having to trip over a tripod all day long. So let's see what I get done. Well, I think it's done. I mean, obviously there's a tweaking to do and living in it and seeing how I like things, but I think it's going to work. I think the round table in front of the little sofa is going to work. And the beauty of that particular table is that it is small enough that if I had a gathering of people and it was in the way, 
I could move it. I could move it. I can, I can move the stuff that's in front of the fireplace and put it in front of the fireplace. I could move Cass's bed and put it in this corner where he normally sleeps. See, he's, he's, because everything is right in his world again. So I'm going to show you this. Yeah. So he's got his bed back in his corner, but that round table could easily get tucked over here if I were having uh, entertaining and having a party and wanted it out of the middle of the room, but still needed the table space. I could even extend it, make it oval and make it like a little buffet over here. Easy peasy and just put Cass in the back room. He would be okay. Um, yes, my cheap ass Goodwill flea market mismatched tables are, they're a thing. They're either an eclectic thing or they're, um, a thing that needs to be remedied but that is actually a piano bench the top opens for put the music in uh but i found it for five dollars at a thrift store and it does the job very well and i like it um this was five dollars at the local goodwill or salvation army one of the two goodwill i think again both of these tables bought with the intention that they were going to get painted and they might um those chairs came with a different table that's in the other room on flea market or Facebook marketplace, something like that. This little Sterilite thing is all my embroidery stuff. And it's there since I did the embroidered stocking project, thinking I would sit in front of the fire and do some more embroidery over the winter. And I might do that cross stitch that's in there. I don't know. But I think this rug situation works. I like the lighter rug filling up the most space in the room. It brightens the room up. It's a very dark room. So that's good. And if I painted these tables ivory, they would be nice. Um, the fact that that's, that's a white couch under that slip cover, but I really like that velvet slip cover. It's just very much more comfortable than the upholstery that's on there. Um, maybe some, at some point I will buy a navy one and then it won't matter. But with that throw on top of it and the table in front of it, you'd never know it was, it was teal instead of a color that actually matches the room. I mean, I could take it off if I cared and have it be white, but I'm not going to. This white slipcover obviously is, well, especially since I moved the furniture around, it needs to be taken off and washed. I should have done that when I started the job today, but it is what it is. And we got cats and knitting and more cats because this is going to be a thing. So I think this cozy, and it, oh, it oddly I've added more furniture to the room well i added a couch and i don't know if these two dining chairs that's not that's not ideal i mean if i were having someone over i would pull the that extra chair over here and we'd sit around the table right but if i put the chair in front of over here one it's kind of in the walking zone and that's a pain that's a problem and two if you're sitting on the couch looking at the tv which is here which swings out um then that's just another thing in your way, your view. So I, what I am thinking that I'm going to do at some point is find the right fabric for like a dollar a yard, because that's how I do things, and make a long tablecloth for this round table that goes all the way to the floor, and slip covers for those chairs with like the bows on the back, you know, kind of like they do for weddings that they cover the, the folding chairs. Um, I won't, I don't know about the butt bow. I'm just an eighties bride and I figure everything has to have a butt bow, but cause if I move, if I get my chuck this shit out of here, which I could just tuck it in the corner over there, which is probably what I will do. Um, I'll put one of those chairs right by the fireplace. That will work. That'll work. That'll work. Or I can move that thing over to the, I don't need an end table. That's the beauty of having this big table here is I don't need end tables. Although it would be nice to have another floor lamp. So maybe I go buy another cheap one from Walmart, like the one behind me or find one at the flea market and put, well, I have this one in here. I do have that one in there that doesn't really get used very often, but it also doesn't put out much light. Okay. Well, to my thinking on my feet way of decorating and redecorating and rearranging furniture but this feels nice this just it open it's weird how adding 
an entire chair or an entire three-seated uh, sofa, I should say. But moving that yellow chair away from the fireplace, I hope I don't regret that. Um, but it's a small enough, light enough occasional chair that it can easily be moved right over here. The thing is, it's that super bright yellow, which looks fun in here, but with this new rug, it doesn't look it's, it's fun. It doesn't go quite as well. But this might not be the forever rug for this room anyway. I still think with the pink flowers and the beige background that it would look really, really nice in that front bedroom. So I think ultimately that is where it's going to go when the sewing machine comes out of there. Once I get that all arranged the way I want it without the sewing machine in that room, this rug will probably go in there. And maybe I'll get another big one that fits just like this one does, but just a different, a different rug. We'll see. We'll see how things work. But there we are. And I guess my kitchen door is never closing. But another thing on my agenda for this winter is to make a new curtain for this doorway uh, and, a, and a tension rod up there to keep the heat and that unheated hallway um, heat from going into that unheated hallway. So in the cold from the attic stairs to come coming in here and all the things kind of seal it off. But um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we don't have another super cold winter like we did last year. We've made it through Christmas. And last year it was like this week between Christmas and New Year's that it got stupid cold for Alabama, like in the teens. Maybe we might have even hit, I don't think we hit single digits, but I think we got into the teens last year. Someone that knows weather will look this up and tell me. But um, yeah, I don't want to do that again if we can help it. But if we do, I will make that curtain. And if I have to make a curtain for this one, I will. But that was how I got through last winter. I sat in here. This blanket is a plug-in uh, electric throw. And I had the smaller little electric heater in here. And I just heated this room. And I kept my thermostat at like 62. And the fans in my bathrooms have heat they're not very good, but they're better than nothing. If you close the doors and turn them on, they do heat that bathroom up pretty well. Open the cabinets. I kept everything from freezing because I'm a Midwestern girl and I know how to do that. So um, no frozen pipes last year. Fingers crossed. We won't have to deal with that this year. So thanks for watching and being with me today while I farted around and figured out what to do with this dining room slash lounge slash TV room slash do everything room. And I think I like it. It probably is going to have some tweaks over time as I live in it. But I think this is going to be nice when my kids come to visit. We will have a little more space to hang for everybody to have a comfortable place to sit and hang out, watch some movies, have some meals, and hopefully not be too annoying. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. All right. I love you. Bye.